So let's continue going down here, and we find another door. I should have just gone up. It would have been easier. Let's see what's in that treasure chest. Give me something good. What do we got? We got a life potion, which is needed. Because those damn trap doors. And we do have a new enemy here. We have the vamp lady. I don't like the looks of her at all, so let's aim so that she dies. If I get the strike first, why did you hit me? I hate your rules, game. I hate your rules. Oh, you strike first. Oh, he didn't go fast enough. Strike first only lasts about two seconds. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Ah, I paralyzed it. All right, let's jump on the vamp lady. I don't like the looks of her. Why did I paralyze something that I was just going to kill anyway? That is my question. And not one that I probably have an answer to, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll aim at this werebat. Hopefully that's going to be enough to finish that one off, and then we can just smack it. Oh, nice! We did finish it off! Is that going to paralyze the vamp lady? No, no it's not. Well, that was stupid. I didn't realize she was undead. So don't use the drain on the vamp lady. Gotcha! Read you loud and clear. And down goes the vamp lady. I will need to heal Kane now. 2150 experience, that's nice. And a level up. It's good to see he has to give me the cure too. I've earned it. Moving on, we can head over here, and I bet this is gonna be another trap door. It is. Hooray, through the door. There's nothing here, damn it. There's nothing here. <gasps> Why isn't there anything here? Did I miss something? We can't go... Yes, we can go down here, apparently. This one actually leads somewhere. Why do you confuse me, game? All I ask, game, is for some consistency with your ropes. Okay, this looks like a puzzle room, but... I, I, I don't think there's anything else in here. Ether 2? Holy crap. I don't think there's anything else in here besides the, uh, besides the two treasure chests. Very nice treasure chest, though. Let's keep going. There's, yeah, there's nothing in these boxes. As much as I want there to be something in there. Pass by. No. no. Oh, what the hell? Just even touch it and he just goes all the way down. Okay. Let's head up here then. Don't see anything over here? No. Okay. We are free to move on to the save point, which once again, I do need to use. Alright, let's head forward, and I kind of am a little nervous about this one. I don't think these lead anywhere. We just need to go around. This is uh, one of the the most rem the most memorable, I should say, uh, fights in the game coming up very soon. So spoiler alert: there's a fight, but. This one, I don't think I'm going to have too much difficulty with. I have to take on this trap door. This is not the fight I'm talking about, though. Now, it, you could go back to the save point and save again. That's how tough this fight coming up is. Uh, so that way you don't have to take on the uh, trap door again. I don't think I need to do that. I think I am properly prepped for the crystal room. And here we find the last dark crystal. Well... I guess the Dark Crystal, even though there clearly were other ones. Whatever, we'll take the Dark Crystal. And we can not head out of here, damn it! I thought we were done! The wall! It's moving! They set the trap to guard the crystal, let's escape the trap then! And it's boss time, we're up against the evil wall! Now, this guy is no fun! No fun at all. In fact, I am going to use items against him. We're going to see the dark command. We're, what do we have? We have the shuriken. And then uh, let's use the ninja on him. Uh, okay, that's where he is, apparently. Throw the ninja star at him. And then you just attack. That's really all you, you need to do for now. And then you... Damn, that's a lot of damage. Okay, where is it? There we go. Slow. We need to slow the evil wall. You can call Le Leviathan. Call Leviathan! 
You want to slow him down because as he gets closer and closer to you, well, you could die by letting him get too close to you. So let's slow him down. I do believe you have to slow them twice in order for it to have its full effect. Uh, you go ahead and heal yourself. I don't want you petrified. Uh, you just keep attacking. And then I think I could get one more slow off on the evil wall before I start needing to heal. Another 4,600. Jeez, 4,600. That is quite a lot of damage. That's why you use Leviathan. Stop hitting me! I'm trying to slow you down. Like I said, I think uh, in order to fully slow in this game, you do need to use two slows. Okay, he's not doing that much damage to me. I'm going to throw a shuriken at him, though. Because, once again, this is a timed fight based on how many turns the evil wall gets. Damn it, stop petrifying people. Not nearly as much, but still a lot of damage there. We're not, he's not doing that much damage to us, but you do need to heal yourself. And then I can start trying to cast Berserk. That's another tactic uh, you can use here. We can use Berserk on Cain and Cecil. It'll give them an auto attack, which isn't exactly what I want to do uh, in most fights. But in this fight, that is perfectly fine with me because it actually ups their attack. As you can see, this guy is inching closer and closer and closer. It, I hate this fight. I really do. We're just going to keep fighting. I think this is going to be the most effective strategy against him. Uh, jumping will just take too long, to be honest with you. And, Cecil, you don't look berserked at all. But I'm going to assume that it did work. <laughs> Give me another 3,500. That's not as much as it was last time, was it? <sighs> I don't have anything else, so... Damn it! I can see behind him. That's not a good sign. Means he's getting closer. Go! Another berserk! Oh! And down he goes. Oh god, I hate that fight. Because uh, it is timed. Uh, that is, it's annoying and a lot of people die here a lot. Uh, but we did get 8,000 gil, 4,600 experience, edge gains a level. I did make that look a little bit easier than it actually is. We did a oh, petty trap. No, that wasn't petty at all. But I feel the need to exit out of here because, well, are they going to let me? Are you guys going to let me? No, of course not. So, let's just walk out of here. We'll do a victory walk, I guess, out of the dungeon. They wouldn't let me exit. What kind of crap is that? I figured they wouldn't, but I wanted to try. Oh god. I... See, how is it that you can't go out that side, but you can go out this side? It makes no sense to me. I guess it's a little bit bigger, but still. Still. Now let's head back to the save point. I am going to need to use it once again. I should just be able to get away with a tent instead of a full cabin. So I am going to take care of that right now. I did finally figure out the Avenger Sword, by the way. Sorry, I was very late in getting that information to you. But the Avenger Sword is actually a two-handed sword. That's why I couldn't equip it before. But its attack is not very good. It's actually lower than the Drain Spear was for Kane, And therefore, well, I'm not going to be ever using that. I'll probably sell that. Why it's two-handed, I don't know. But once... Once you take off the, sh the shield that anybody is carrying, then, then they can equip it. We need to continue our way out of here. This is going to be quite a journey, unfortunately. But it's one that we shouldn't have too much difficulty with now that the trap doors are gotten rid of. And I don't believe they respawn at all. In fact, I know they don't respawn. You can go into anything that you've gone in before. See, the doors are open. So with those guys gone, this becomes a lot easier, to be honest with you. This dungeon is kind of a cakewalk on the way back. Uh, but as long as you remember to heal and, and save at the, at the save point. If you don't remember to do that, then these vampires could get you. These werebats, I should say, in the vamp lady. Otherwise, this isn't 
this isn't too bad at all. Unfortunately, we do have to walk out, so I'm going to keep this in because it is... Well, it's required. You have to walk out. You don't have a choice here. I got my way around just for a second there. But I recovered. We can head back up here. I don't need to use the save points, so I should be good now. Yeah, that is the uh, the entrance there, isn't it? There we go. Oh, what? That's what I said. What? Kane, return to me, Kane. Come back to me with the crystal. Gold bears. No, Kane, you can uh, get a hold of yourself. Um, all right, I'm no longer under his control. And then he punched me. Oh, he stole the dark crystal! Damn it, Kane! Get back here! You wretch! Kane, what are you doing? I've been waiting for this moment. Now the Tower of Babel can be reactivated. The way to the moon will open. Come, Kane! Come on, Kane, wake up! No, you don't have to go! All the crystals are gathered now. The way to the moon will open. Wait! He didn't. Golbez just laughs at us. Kane. Oh my. And, and we've lost our party member. Luckily I unequipped him. Hooray for me, I guess. <laughs>